Hi, viewer question time. It's Agnes here for those of you that don't know that already. And here's the question. It's from Natalie. Natalie says, I thought originally I'd like to attract my specific person back, but now I'm not so sure. After doing self-love meditations and affirmations lately, I feel like I deserve to be loved, respected and treated like a priority. If we are ready, obviously we don't want to attract them back until they are ready. He was on the rebound and not coming from love either. How does that work? Is it just what we believe? So if I believe he's healed and is ready, he will be. If not, I believe I deserve someone better. Okay, Natalie, I'm going to go through this step by step and explain it the best I can. So you said step by step here. I thought originally I'd like to attract my specific person back, but now I'm not sure. After doing self-love meditations and affirmations lately, I feel like I deserve to be loved, respected and treated like a priority. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me at this point. So you're saying if we are ready, obviously we don't want to attract them back until they are ready. He was on the rebound and not coming from love either. Okay, so let me just stop there. You're saying he was on the rebound and not coming from love either. Now, this is your interpretation of what he was doing. Okay, it's interpretation. I'm going to put down below the interpretation playlist and especially interpretation video number one. Can I suggest that you watch that? Because interpretation is only one interpretation and that's your interpretation and there are many other interpretations. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to say. So you're saying how does it work? Is it just what we believe? So if we believe he's healed and he is ready, he will be. Well, if you believe that you are healed, if you believe that you are deserving, if you believe that you are respected, if you believe that you are a priority, then you will attract that kind of behavior from others. Okay. Now, can I say that it definitely will be from him? No, but I can say to you that what you project out is what you will get back. Okay, that's how it is. It's like magnets. It's a, a vibrational universe. It's energy. It's like whatever goes out from you brings it in. If you feel wanted, you are. If you feel unwanted, you are unwanted. If you feel respected you are, if you feel secure you are, if you feel angry you are. It's you get what you are. You always get what you are. Okay. Now obviously what you are can change. So you will get something different if you change what you're doing. So you are always going to be what you feel. As in you are what you feel and you attract what you feel. Okay vibrational matches, vibrational magnets. Okay. So that's why, and I'm going to say this one, when you're feeling really unloved and unwanted, no one's around, especially your specific person, because the vibe of I'm not wanted, I'm not wanted goes out and they go, well, she's not wanted. I'm repelled. I'm repelled. And they go away. Okay. So you said he was on the rebound and not coming from love either. Okay. Again, your interpretation. So can I suggest you watch that interpretation and know that there are other interpretations that it could be. So going back to what the last part of what you said, is it just that we believe so and if I believe he's healed and is ready, he will be? Well, not necessarily because what you believe is what you get, but you can't measure, like it's, 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 you can't see it like a glass of water where you go, okay, I filled up a glass of water to the top and I know it's full. It's very hard to measure within your own self how full your glass is in the belief department. You could be at half a glass of belief and you need a full glass. 
it's very hard to gauge that with your own eyes on your own self okay I hear a lot of people say look I know I'm ready why isn't it happening well you're obviously not ready because if you were ready you'd have it so you can say that you're ready you can say that you believe you can say that you know someone's meant for you you can say all these things but it's not your words that is going to bring it in the words help So does the repetition, so does the self-love, so does remembering everyone's you pushed out, so does living in the end, so does imagination creates reality. But timing and packaging is not in your control. That is the universe, God, the God of your understanding, that is in charge of that department, okay? That's the best way I can say it. So now you said if not, I believe, believe I deserve someone better. Well, the thing is, this whole thing of I deserve someone better, okay, that's still standing there with this kind of, I don't know how to explain it exactly, self-righteousness, entitled, I deserve someone better. Like you're standing there with your hands on your hips going, I deserve someone better. But see, there's still this undertone of not feeling good enough. And I know that's going to be a little bit hard for some of you to get. But when people say, you know, I'm you know, I I really deserve to be treated better than this or I really know that I'm worthy of something much better than that job or that person or whatever. It's still coming from, it's got kind of a cloudy haze of still not good enough underneath it, okay? Otherwise, you would make a statement such as, I know that as I love myself more, I attract someone that loves me back. See how much softer that is? See how much more it hasn't got this going on underneath it? And I hope that makes a bit of sense, Natalie, because I know what you're saying. I know where you're going. I know what you're getting at, but it's still got that a little bit of uh, victim energy. And that's what I'll say. It's still got the victim trying to rise up and claim something more but it's still not coming from a self-loving place that radiates it out in a gentle open way where it is just reflected back to you okay so that's what I'm going to say about that very interesting question and I'm going to say you kind of use this wording too um I deserve to be loved, I deserve to be respected, I deserve to be treated like a priority. Well, that's still coming from your hands on your hips and not feeling, still got that slight victim stuff underneath it. Again, how would I reword that? I am loved, I am respected, I am a priority. I am that. Not I deserve to be treated like that from the outside because that's still coming and it's still loaded with that I haven't been respected, I haven't been loved, I haven't been treated like a priority, okay? So if I hope you can see the difference in that. This one isn't clear black and white. It's a little bit grey, a little bit. You can, might even say, look, that sounds like the same thing to me, and yes, but it's not. The energy underneath it, one is about feeling good about yourself and self-loving and giving, and one still got that struggle underneath, okay? Now, that's the end of that. I want to say one more thing too. For those of you that want to listen to a radio interview that I did about the back, healing the back and the back being your support. And when you have back issues, lower back issues, mid back issues, upper back issues, where you come in and out of back issues, what does that reflect to you? Because your back is your strong support okay so you want to listen to a conversation that I did with a lovely woman Annette from blog talk radio 
and I will put the link down below for those of you that want to listen to that. Okay, lots of love everybody.